I'm Farida, and you're watching Eerie Extreme. Oh. Uh, yeah, come on. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. No way. Yes. Look at that. How's the fishing, Greg? Oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crying? So if you know us, we have issues. But this time, it's bad. We might have to can it. Thank you for calling Robinson's. If you have questions about Pagmatumi. I dug out my old reels. We're going fishing for big giant catfish. It's gonna be fun. We don't wanna get all my new 13 rods broken on a catfish trip with a bunch of newbies. We need lots of weight and lots of big giant hooks. All right, today we're going catfishing and we got a pretty big crew. We did something like this a few years ago, and ever since then, we've been itching to do it again. Here we go. I'm trying a few different things since we're gonna have 10 rods in the water. I got the 65 pound braid tied to a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I got this giant circle hook on there and I have it rigged like a drop shot. Big two ounce sinker on the bottom. That is gonna be one of the rigs and then the other one's just gonna be the hook on the bottom and then the sinker up here. So we'll see what works better. All right, today is the day. We're having some problems. Hello? We're kind of scrambling right now. Okay. I'm not worried about it because we're going to figure it out, but. We can always fish from shore. Hello? Hello, is this Dave? Yeah. We're coming down there to film a show tonight. Do you know anything about catching catfish on that lake? Uh, no. Strike one. Do you have uh, suckers or creek chubs? No. Strike two. Do you know anybody who has a pontoon boat that we might be able to use? Uh, no. Strike three. Uh, I ain't no help you at all. And we're out. Unless somebody else comes through, because I quit. Hello. Hello, John. Yeah. I have a really weird request. Uh, give me a call back tomorrow, okay? All right. Bye. I think we might be able to actually get this thing. Never. Hey, Jim, how's it going, man? I'm wondering if we can use your pontoon boat tonight. We've been having a lot of trouble getting something. You're going to be using it? All right, thanks, man. Strike 297. My name's Dave. I'm with the TV show, Eerie Extreme. What's your name? My name's Patty. Do you know of anybody who could who could loan us a pontoon boat for the evening? Mm, maybe Duck and Drake in Andover. They have some catfish fishing contests out of there. Oh, okay. So they'll probably know someone. Lori, my name is Dave, and we're filming in your neck of the woods tonight. Okay, let me give you a call back. I'm going to make some phone calls. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay. Right that sounds promising. Please. Definitely wanted to at least call you back and let you not to worry about the boat. We got you covered as far as that, okay? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we got the boat. Now we need the bait. Um, yeah, the only other thing we would carry is the frozen shad and the skipjack. <laughs> skipjack. I'm at Palmero Toyota, dropping the truck off to get inspected. I'm just gonna load it up real quick. All right, so I got no idea what's going on. We got the pontoon thing figured out, thankfully. Lori from Duck and Drake Bait Shops in Andover, Ohio, bailed us out big time. Almost canceled it because we needed a boat bad. And that's a pretty big deal. We got the boat covered, but we still don't have the bait figured out. Man, I haven't been here since the last time I was here. There's thunderstorms in the forecast. They're not the perfect conditions to be doing this in, but you gotta do what you gotta do. There's a thunderstorm right there. Check, 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 one, two. It's all you, remember how to use this thing? No, I know. It's been a few years, I thought maybe you were gonna be not late. Maybe you're a new person now. How are you? I'm good. What do you think about the weather? The weather's hot. <laughs> but it's nice. Yeah, but. Oh yeah, we're supposed to, there's like 50, 60% chance of storms around eight o'clock. And hail. Oh, hail, nice. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Cheryl Hall. We're at Pima Tuning Boat Rentals and basically what we do here is rent our boats and try to help people catch fish. Yeah, we need to catch catfish. God bless you. Are you gonna teach them how to drive it? Yeah, it's not very hard. Okay. You can drive a car, you can drive a boat. Oh, really? So on our boat, it is a down button. And you go until you stop it. Man, that's a little tiny motor. Does it does it actually get it? Push it well. 20 horsepower is our limit on our lake. Is this thing hail proof? Idiot. Um come on. Of course it is. You have eight life jackets because we only allowed eight on our boats. The ladder in case somebody falls off or you decide to push them. Where's the gas pedal? Okay. This is your throttle. Like this is a fishing boat, right? Yeah, this is definitely one of our fishing boats. So like boats. big catfish just flopping around on the floor? Uh, I can give you one of our fish coolers. I guess our only issue now is bait. All right, so I was not expecting this. This is a very nice pontoon boat. Now we're headed across the street to Duck and Drake. 
When that storm is coming toward us, no chance it's gonna miss us. You got something to cover the camera with? I grew up fishing Pima Tuning Lake, so I spent a lot of time here. Is this what we need? And this store has always been a popular spot. It's right in the middle of the lake, which is convenient. And whether you're camping, boating, fishing, whatever it is, they have everything you need. And I think the kind of people they are speaks for itself. Can we ask you some questions? Well, I don't know. Frida. I'm Dave. That's Allie. Allie. Hi. <laughs> now, what's your real name? Allie. We're filming a TV show tonight. What? Tonight. Oh, you all right with that? Well, I don't think you ought to let me know. Okay. Well, I didn't have your number. We need to catch catfish. I don't know about catfish. Can They're you just ugly. pretend like you do? They're ugly. That's all the thing I know. Just pretend. Just pretend. Just say, tell us where then to... Then I'd be lying. It doesn't matter. What's what we do? It's a fishing show. Tell no, us, no, 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 no. All the fishermen us. come in here. There's preachers come in here and fish, and they're all very honest. Nice. Tell us where to go. You gotta go over in the lakes, that's all I know about. I'm not a fisher person. Do you wanna be on camera? Yes, you do. Vicki, it's our time. It is. This it is, is it. our You've time. waited your whole life for this. I've waited 89 years for Are this. You're not 89. Yeah, I don't go over there because that's, that's awesome. what I am. Do you wanna go with us? No. Okay. What's your name again? Frida. You don't remember very well, do you? No. Which reminds me of Frida's. Frida's potato chips or something? Yeah, you mean? those are good. Say skipjack. 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 So I actually know what a skipjack is. They're kind of like a shad, but longer and thinner. And I've seen them while fishing in Tennessee, Alabama, some other places on the Tennessee River. But they're definitely not our best option. According to the locals, we need perch and bluegills. They all use bluegills. It's all over the internet. I did my research. So can you show me the skipjack? Oh my. That's your skip jack. Yeah. Obviously they're not gonna eat this whole thing, so what are you I doing? Chopping it up? Yeah, you have to cut it up. Yeah. Wanna smell it? What is that? Skipjack. Skipjack. We gotta find somebody that knows what they're doing. Let's go show this to Frida and see what she thinks. Are there Fridas? They're right there. Uh oh. Dang, she's fast. She got out of town. Man, I got Fritos for Frida. Look. She's not yeah. even here. She's not even here. She gone. Any other words of wisdom for us? You're gonna wanna go deep. Really? Yep. Catfish? Our bottom feeders. All right. Um, I'm trusting you, Bobby Joe. Well, thank you for talking to us. Yep, you're welcome. What if it's too heavy and I can't get it out of the water? What if I can't re reel it in? Come on. You'll be able to. This is from Lori, who owns the place. Fish any weed or lily pad edges. So we got opposite advice from two different people. One says go deep, one says go shallow. So we're pretty much on our own. And I get it. Most fishermen don't want to give their secrets away. So I have an idea and we're just gonna run with it. It's a long way, but we'll get there. So we're gonna be going in the pontoon boat. We're, we're gonna be going like seven miles. That's a long way. Well, we're out of here. Thank you very much. You're definitely gonna be on camera. <laughs> All right, we're heading back across the street to the marina. The rest of the crew is there, and we gotta figure out how we're gonna catch bait. So I brought some panfish gear and some little jigs, and typically marinas are a good place to catch bluegills and other small bait fish. So we're gonna start right here. How dare you bring a new striker hat for you, but not me. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> All right, the problem is, is we got to catch our own bait. All right, we could do that, man. I brought chicken liver. If I catch a bluegill or a perch, do we have something to put it in? There's a cooler on the pontoon boat. Is that my bluegill bait? Yeah. yeah. We're fishing right here. This teamwork on this. We got to beat the rain. Oh, it's It goes right above, above us. That's good. Good news and bad news. The good news is, it looks like the storm's going to miss us. The bad news is we only have a couple hours before sunset, we have a one hour boat ride, and we have to catch 40 bluegills. So with only six of us, that's, everyone has to catch like 11. What? Bring it in, man. Allie, throw where I just was. Skippy, there's no sense moving. You got one? No sense moving what? Moving away from this spot right here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. ah. She knows how to do it. She's just being a. I am not. There we go. That Why do they make the me do this? This is my least favorite part. Because I don't want him to stab me again. Your evolution throughout this process is going to be recognizable. <laughs> like at the end of the year, you're going to be grabbing those things and fighting their heads off. That's the littlest smallmouth I ever saw in my life. There we go. Nice one, Kurt. This is our bait. Number 20. We're halfway there. Oh, there you go, Kurt. Allie. Huh? Fish only. What's that mean? Let me look inside here and see what's in the cooler. 
They're showing catching them. Them. 40. That blows my mind. We did it. Yeah. And it was kind of fun. We got them. Here, check them out. We saw this cooler and it says fish only, so we figured we'd put fish only in. 40 fish in just under an hour. So now it's time to load the pontoon, hit the water, head north. Okay, so it's a little bit under an hour until sunset. We got a long way to go. And with that little motor, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna blow our wigs off. There's the rods, there's the gang. We got Perry, Allie, Terry, it's gonna get confusing, Jerry, and I'm Harry. <laughs> and last but not least, Beck, who's working harder than all of us combined. Hey, I'm gonna show you a knot real quick. We can be educational on the show, right? You take the loop through like that, there's no knot. So that's enough right there, but you can just keep going forever. And then look. Good to go. Wow. Heading as far north as you can possibly go, we're headed to the spillway. I guess I should have brought the San Marine, huh? All right, we're ready. Give me a dead gum I'm ready to go get me a big old hog. Oh, we got some good bait. going that way or this way? These look like fish down here. Why are we going so far away when there's fish right here? Oh. It's a long ride and they're losing their minds. This is taking forever. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's completely lost her mind. Anyway, we gotta cut this bait up, sun's going down, and we're almost there. This boat, even though it looks really nice, it's a fishing boat. She said we can bloody it up, whatever, but we don't really want to. Correct. Tell her about your blood being blue. You ever hear of people with blue blood? Yeah. His blood is blue. I mean, it's blue in your body. No, no, no. His is blue when he bleeds. It's cut yourself. No! You won't believe it. Careful, I don't like that. You? Why? Because Kirk's fingers are there. I don't see his blood. There you go. What? Seriously? I was kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Done. All right, Uncle Skippy never leads us astray. <laughs> Haven't even started yet. No more yawning. We're where we want to be. We just got to chuck them out that way, right? Kirk, seriously, don't fall in, because I this is throttle on the, the left hold side on. is messed up. So it's five feet here and ten feet right there. Hold what on. should we do? You're the professional fisherman. I don't think this is catfish. Um, Kirk, we need you. We need to come around this way. No, yeah. just through up through right through the middle of the back. Yeah. Just this way. There Heaviest part. Oh yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I've never done this before. Here you go, Allie. This is you. I don't know how the heck to use that thing. You don't have to. Know. One down. All right, next one. <laughs> Skip dog, you want to come back here and hold a rod? Any fish that's eight inches or less. It's legal or illegal? Legal. Oh, cool. What Kirk's referring to is whether or not it's legal for us to use the small perch and bluegills that we caught for bait. We actually checked on this years ago, but we just want to be 100% sure that we're good. All right, I need a little perch. Come on, Perry, we got to be quicker. We got like 16 more of these to go. Well, I know. There we go. Oh, boy. This rod's ready to rock. We should have brought marshmallows. Hot yeah. dogs. We could toast them. All they ever think about is food. Hopefully these spiders will take their mind off of it. All right, and there's one right here. And then if you will, there's one right here. There's gonna be thousands of them. So I'm just trying to get all the lines in the water and before I could even hand this rod off, boom, one slams it. I didn't want to be the first one to catch one, but oh well, here we go. Holy crap. Got him. Get it? Yeah, I shouldn't be catching the first one. Well then give it some pull back to me. You were tangled big time. You snagged on something. Okay, so we know there's a fish here. We got that. Which rod, what bait was this? The net is over by the helm. You got a big one. Yeah. 
please support our Erie Extreme partners. Marquette Savings Bank. We create. The Avonia Tavern. Fishing Online. Bentley Tree Care. East End Angler. A. Kaplan Company. Driscoll Tax and Accounting. Fisherman's Haven. The Band 814. And our friends at Taste and See Youth for Christ and Pray Erie. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Nate from the Band 814. This is my battle Band 814 is accepting bookings for 2024. Festivals, fairs, concerts, youth events, worship nights, banquets, and parties. Email us at theband814 at gmail.com for more info. Check out our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And listen to our album on Spotify or Apple Music. See you at the next show. You got a big one. Ready, Kirk? Dude, that's like over 10 pounds, isn't it? Huh? Absolutely. That'd be some good eating, guys. That is? I love catfish. So that's only about an 8 pounder, I think, isn't it, Kirk? Yeah. Baby shark. <laughs> Baby shark. No, you're not I, I do want to hold fish. it. No, you're not holding my fish. Mm -mm. Catch your own fish. It's a good looking fish. How about it? That looks like a blue, though. I think it's a channel. Hi, buddy. At least you got a good dinner. So, Perry, that was a little perch. You gotta be more excited. I will if I get a bite. Okay. So, everybody is. Whoa, what was that? There's one. Here, Allie, take this. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. When you feel it pull, just jerk as hard as you can and start reeling. Feel it? Pull it. Good Tighten it up quick, quick. Go, jerk, jerk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I think it's snack. No, it's there. Is it a fish still or is it snack? I don't know. It's snack. Ah, bomber. Well, at least you got some practice. Shoot. So where are those hooks at? Everybody has to know what bait's on their rod. Allie had two. Skipjack, we did no, a bluegill and three. No, I gave that one to Terry. Uh, Terry has that the, one? Yeah, I have the other one. Yours will be the furthest that way. Okay. And then we'll just go, and then we'll just lean them all here and sit on this. Our position is freaking perfect. All right, finally got all the rods in the water. Now it's time to relax, sit back, and wait. I got something. Or not. Fish on. No, oh, Terry, you gotta wait. Oh, alright. Well, it's not that. like a bluegill. <laughs> okay, he got a bite on the skipjack. You're tangled on my line. No, Hold I see on. I'm trying to move it. Skipjack. Skipjack. What's that mean? That's what it's called. It's called a skipjack. 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 Uncle Skippy Jack. Say skipjack. Skipjack. Here, rehook that. Alright. Fresh skipjack. Skipjack. Fish on. Dang, that didn't take long. Get him, Shake Master. Got the net, anybody? Net. He's a big sucker. Are we keeping him or not? It's up to Kirk. Kirk, good size, no? What do you say? No, okay. Those things are strong, though. You okay? Yeah, it was fun. I had a good time with that. Boom. Ah, stand up, get up. Another one. Hold it up, tip up, tip up. Hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> This is crazy. Kirk, hold this rod for a Hold the tip up. Keep spinning. Don't worry about pulling the hook. Mm hmm. Alistair. Oh, that's a nice, comfortable one. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Probably don't even want to catch one because now she's got to hold it. No, I don't want to hold it. Yeah, but you are going to. No, you can so hold Perry, it. So, Perry, where's your face. gloves? I'm going to drop them. I already know it. You got to get both fingers like this in its mouth and grab like that. Yeah, you'll be alright, <laughs> You got gloves on. There's zero thing. Nothing can happen. I'm so scared. Or else stick your, which is your strongest hand? My right hand? Stick your right hand in its mouth. Not your thumb, your fingers. All of them? Jam it in there and grab. Go. Squeeze as hard as you can. Both Stand hands? up. Yeah, do it. If you can fit him, fit him in there. Squeeze hard before you lift him. He's gonna uh. squat. You're fine. Then. He'll, he'll bite you, but it don't matter. You got oh, gloves shoot. on. Beautiful. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? Good one. That's real good. Oh no, I'm gonna drop it. No, you're not. No, yes, you're I not. am. No, no, it's all in the water. In the water. <laughs> they will take these rods in the lake. Really? Y'all yeah. said. Really? Yeah. They'll take your rod in the lake. Now it's Kirk's turn. Hurry up. Are you for real? Are you rolling? Oh. Is he on there? Yeah. Allie. Yeah. No. Huh? Net him. Why do I not try to go 
Oh, that's the biggest one yet. Oh yeah, that's a giant. Get him out. Get him. That's nice. Oh, 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 head, oh, oh, head, oh, 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 Get him. There you go. <laughs> You lift it? In the boat. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, that's a good one. Sweet. That's a nice one there, isn't it, Kirk? Yeah. Nice fast. Dang, he's ugly. There you go. They're all ugly. Oh. Yeah. You want to keep it or what do you want to do? Hold it up here. How big is that sucker? You want to weigh it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is. 12, 20, 12, 12 30. 30. Toss him out the other side. This over here? Yeah. yeah. So he doesn't tell his friends. <laughs> <laughs> That was a bad dive. <gasps> there you go. Is he okay? All right, we need Hopefully. baits on a bunch of rods. All right, this one just got a bite. This one. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bam. All right, Uncle Skippy Jack's turn. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bam. All right, Uncle Skippy Jack's turn. Oh, Uncle Skippy got him a big one. Another one. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh. Got him still? Yeah. That's what you're standing on? You got too many things in the way. Get him, Uncle Skippy. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I got the net. <laughs> Get him. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Are you on top? I want nothing to do with that thing, man. You got Come on, Terry. <laughs> right, I'm you got it? Down. Dang, they're getting big. Dude, that's a freaking tank. I want gloves. <laughs> if I'm touching, I want gloves. Oh, my God. That's a 15 right. pounder. Which way do they go on? Tell me when the hook's out. Yeah. Hook's out. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold Don't on. Go just stay away. Just don't want to get hooked. There we go. All right, get some pictures. I ain't holding them. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Say you real good. Here's the camera. All right, this is disgusting. Crazy. Come on. <laughs> All right? I'm trying. Yeah, we, we, I feel like, like we got a way up. No. Yeah, let's go. No. <laughs> no. Did, did he slap you in the face? <laughs> no, he's biting down on my hand. Come on. What a baby. I'm left-handed. He has a good grip on my left hand. Don't drop him on anybody. I'm trying not to. Oh, no. Waka, waka, Does waka, anybody waka, know waka. where I put the scale? You just had it in your hand. I know, but I don't have a light there. All right, I wait. No, I'm hold on, hold on. Take it easy, bud. So I got to get all these lines back in the water. That was like three back to back to back. Awesome, but there's a storm coming. Lightning, not good. It's just heat lightning. Wishful thinking. Mm -mm. I'm afraid that's not heat lightning, boys. We're gonna die. All right. So in checking the radar, it's not looking good. And the natives are getting restless. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh. I'm ready to wow, catch a fish. Oh, why do you do it with your hands? It's disgusting. What are you talking about? He takes the spider with his hand. <laughs> Who did? Spider. Me. Was it a big one? Yeah. yeah. It's nasty. There'll be another one. I'd rather throw spiders off the boat than hold another cat there. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'll drink that water for a hundred bucks. Dude, drink it. That's gonna do it. It's got it. it. You got I it. Got it. Whoa, that was a big one. Should we go? Whoa, that was a big one. I don't like it. So I'll rig the four rods, and then, and if we don't catch one by that time, then we'll leave. This front moving in is going to excite the fish. That's exactly what I was thinking. When's that? Now, with the lightning? I thought that was heat lightning. Alrighty then, I guess we're staying. It's getting more frequent. Yeah. Well, I got a rain jacket, so I'm good. Well, I'm not worried about getting wet. I'm more worried about lightning. But I know having like a dozen graphite rods and being on a wooden boat isn't the best thing in the world. Oh. Hey, the graphite rods are nice because they'll start humming when it's close. Yeah, I've been with him when that's happened. I just saw a big bolt. Yeah, that I, way too. I just like to head south, Dave. Let's go to the other bridge. There's something coming from Conneaut, and we're right in the path of it. Conia Lake? Yes. Holy crap, that's close. Yes, it is. It's right, it's right here. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna Absolutely. sit this down. Well, so that's it. This lake is huge and it gets rough in a hurry. And we can't take the chance of getting stranded out here or even sinking the ship. So unfortunately, we gotta go. I'm in a horror movie. <laughs>
The wind's starting to pick up, it's getting a little scary, but we got far enough ahead of the storm, we're gonna make a quick stop under the bridge at the causeway. One more fish. The night is young. You told us if you're done by midnight, it's after midnight, I wanna go home. I caught a catfish, you caught a catfish, everybody caught a catfish. We all caught one. And we caught our own bait. I say we stay till we all catch two. <laughs> Let's go back to that I spot. I say we go back to yeah. the spot again. Yeah. Let's vote. Then drop us off at the dock. Who wants to stay and fish all night? Till two. Who wants to stay and fish till two? Come on, we need one more. <laughs> no. Hey, no. This is why I ain't gonna come out on a boat again. I'll bring my own boat. Come on. You guys win. I gotta I've been here for eight hours. That was a fair vote. I'm tired. It's time to go home. It's literally 12.45. It's 12.45! But I'm happy I caught my first catfish. Overall, this was a good day. We, a lot of times, don't catch anything. Thought we were going to get hit with some weather, but it missed us. And all in all, it was a good night. What a day. We caught our own bait. Everyone caught a catfish. It stinks that we had to end the night early, but overall, it was awesome. Huge thanks to Lori and Duck and Drake for hooking us up with this pontoon boat. We obviously couldn't have done this show without you, and uh, we just appreciate it so much and hope we get to do it again. And guys, if you're camping, fishing, boating, whatever you're doing on Pima Tuning, make sure to look these guys up. They're awesome people, super helpful, and they got all the gear that you'll ever need. See you next week.